Selena Gomez completely dominated 2015 with the release of her album Revival, and she was the queen of standing up for herself. So today we're breaking down all the time Cell slammed her haters. Hey guys, I'm your host, Dear McVeigh, coming to you from Hollywood, and you're watching the Hollywire Hot Minute. So Selena has always been such an inspirational person and this year she taught us all to stand up for ourselves no matter what. After she was fat shamed while on vacation, which was ridiculous by the way, she had the last laugh by posting this photo on Instagram writing, I love being happy with me y'all, hashtag there's more to love. Cause I just wanna look good for you, good for you, uh -huh. I just wanna look good for you, good for she completely shut down an Instagram troll who had some not so nice things to say about her weight. She replied with the most perfect response saying, you're disgusting. I'm in the business and I could care less about what they or you say I should look like. I don't need to do anything other than love myself, take care of my work, fans, family, and friends. And I do work out. It's not your place to tell anyone what they should or should not do. Yum! Girl! Selena even told Billboard magazine that all of the hate and fake tabloid stories that surround her just aren't fair. She said, I'm so nice to everybody and everyone is so vile to me. I've been working since I was seven. I've been a UNICEF ambassador since I was 17. It's so disappointing that I've become a tabloid story. The hate motivated me. Amazing, right? Well, once her revival album cover came out where she stripped down and looked flawless, of course more opinions came her way. But since Cell is queen, she had this to say. You have to understand that I dealt with a lot of body shaming this year and uh -huh. I've never experienced that before. Wow. Um, because I don't care about that stuff. But I did start gaining weight and I didn't really mind it. And by I the way, there's it. nothing wrong with that. No, 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 no. I didn't extra... enjoy it. I mean, I mean, I enjoyed it. I didn't mind it. Uh -huh. and. Uh, man, that that hurt. That was really that was really hurtful. It sucks, right? Yeah, because I've experienced people who have tried to control that kind of stuff before, and I think that I didn't care. This is my time. Oh, and let's not forget the time she did an interview with Sunday Times Style Magazine, where they decided to mainly focus on her past relationship with Justin Bieber. Guys, let's just say that Selena was not too happy about it, and she tweeted, Disappointing seeing interviews I've done recently that sound like the exact same interview I did when I was 16. Print type who I am now and stop being afraid I won't give And it was just recently that rumors of her lip syncing at the Victoria's Secret fashion show started floating around. So how did she respond to the backlash? By writing on Instagram, yes, I sing live. And it wasn't just the media or internet trolls that she stood up against. Remember the time she gave one fan the death stare after they stole a pair of her sunglasses? Death stare. All right, you guys, now I gotta know, what's something you learned from Selena this year? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Hollywire TV, and last but not least, like and favorite this video. For Hollywire.com, I'm Sear McVeigh, and I'll see you guys later. All right, you guys, to catch up on all of our hot minutes, go ahead and click the box on the left, and for even more news on Queen Selena, click the box on the right. And make sure you subscribe.